this is an exciting time for the church of God and, and, and the reason I'm saying it is that we have res been receiving word all these years and, and now is a time to put those words to test amen I don't know about you but gas is too expensive for me to just come to a church to hear a story and amen to, to see who's gonna get called out I want to uh, hear a word from the Lord because my challenges are real amen the circumstances that I face they are real amen and I'm not I'm not there yet I'm still growing amen they say that Christians aren't made that but they're in the making and I'm learning that God is not so much interested in in, in, in the situations that confront you but he's more interested in how you respond to the circumstances somehow God seems to have more confidence in us than we do in ourselves amen he knows that that if we are up against the wall that we can have the victory I think that's what he did when Job was challenged amen amen he told Satan go ahead just try it try giving me a best shot amen because Satan said if you remove the hedge around him he will curse it to your face and perhaps that's why so many of us even this morning uh, are going through situations we don't know how we got involved we don't know how this came upon us but thank God that we still have a praise in our mouths Amen. I'm learning. I'm learning. I used to ask the, these questions that like why do, do, do bad things happen to good people and, and good things happen to bad people? Certainly, you know, people, amen, who deserve to go through worse, worse or more than what you're going through. Amen. But thank God, God seems to, to, to know that there is something in us that he has put in us. Amen. That when we respond to the challenges that we can overcome, can you say amen? Amen. While everybody is throwing their hands up in the air and scratching their heads and, and wondering how they're going to make it, there ought to be somebody in the church, somebody somewhere who can say, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Amen. Or a seed begging bread. Amen. Some of us don't know how we're going to make it, but certainly our faith ought to kick in and tell us, amen, that the Lord shall supply our needs according to our riches and glory. The church is not just a place we come to jump and to shout, and, and it's not a fashion show. It's somewhere where our minds are challenged. It's, it's somewhere where God can download something into our spirit, amen, that makes us, amen, resistant and makes us resilient against the things that the enemy throws at us. Amen. And sometimes we ought to wake up. No wonder we touch our neighbor every now and then. We ought to wake up and realize that when the word of God is being preached or being taught, that's the time to pay attention. Amen. Because the enemy will try and test you on the very things that you're taught. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. But the word of God standeth sure. Amen. The word of God will not fail. The word of God will not fail, somebody. The word of God is here to stay. Can you say amen? And so with the story we have before us tonight, today rather, Paul, you know, Paul and Silas, they were men of God. In fact, Paul got a, a, an instruction from the word of the Lord, amen, in prayer that he should go, amen, to a certain city. He was out there on an assignment. He was led and sent by God. But that did not stop them from ending up in jail. There are some of us who are wondering how we got in the situation we got in. Amen. We have prayed. We have fasted. We have kept to ourselves. Amen. We have studied the word whenever there is a call we are always there and sometimes things happen to throw us off God but I'm telling you that God is expecting you amen to respond with the word that he has been teaching you all this time God is expecting somebody amen to say in the face of adversity I know a God who is able to do exceeding abundant above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us can you say amen I don't know if you ever heard this before amen but I like to talk about amen uh, uh Lazarus and his sisters you know Mary and Martha Mary was the one every time Jesus was in town she was always attentive she was the one in Sunday school she was in prayer meeting she was always taking notes during the message but Martha was busy Martha was the one who went shopping Martha was the one who was in the kitchen Martha was the one who was always amen busy doing something else and when Lazarus was dead and Jesus finally showed up amen Martha said Lord if you had been here she had faith for the past uh, amen some of us are living in yesterday if I'd only done what I, I should have done if I'd only finished high school if I'd only amen did that or did that then my life wouldn't be so miserable but Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life God is looking for somebody amen with the I am faith a faith for now now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen amen and God told her he said I am the resurrection she said Lord I believe that in the day to come in the 
sweet by and by. Amen. Some way beyond the blue that my brother will live again. Jesus did not move uh, because she didn't have the faith for now. They sent for Mary and oh I can imagine the angels rejoicing because here comes somebody who will know the word of God. But when Mary came uh, she said the same words uh, and the Bible said Jesus wept. Uh, I wonder if God is weeping over anybody here today. Amen. When you should have known better. When you should have responded differently. You throw your hands up in the air like the same person who don't know the word of God. But I challenge somebody in the house today. I don't care what the enemy throws at you. I don't care if you're about to lose your house. I don't care if the doctor gave you a bad report. I wish you lift your hands in the sanctuary this morning and said I will bless the Lord at all times hallelujah yes you can praise him amen that energy takes you to complain and to criticize it costs you less to praise the lord job lost his children job lost his house job lost he almost lost his wife and he almost lost his mind but when he should have complained job said i'm going to respond with a praise the lord give it and the lord take it away blessed be the name of the lord can i get let me take a moment and see if i can give somebody in the house a chance look at the people who are standing up they are the ones who've got hell going on at work and hell going on at work and hell going on at home but i thank god there are a few in sardis who don't mind praising god you see them praising god that doesn't mean that everything is all right but they are praising god believing that the lord will make a way is there anybody who will respond to a praise the higher gas goes i say hallelujah the more expensive bread that comes i say hallelujah the sicker my body gets I say hallelujah because the more I praise him it's the better my ah, time is almost up but the Bible said that Paul and Silas were thrown in prison and the jailer got instructions to secure them safely and he interpreted those instructions by putting on them foot cuffs if you please making sure they can't the enemy don't want you to move some of you are stuck stuck in a ministry stuck in a marriage stuck in a job stuck in a contract amen you're just paying you enough to come back you can't leave and you don't want to stay but I have a remedy amen for your immobility right now you may not be able to move from one place to the next I see a lady over here in a wheelchair our dear sister cannot see in her eyes but there is a way to escape the prison that the enemy tried to lock you in if you can open up your mouth amen the Bible said this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of his trouble my time is almost up but some of you spend more time gossiping more time texting more time in Facebook I dare you to get your face in the book uh, and find something uh, to give God praise. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, is there anybody in the house? Uh, if you're sitting beside somebody uh, who don't want to praise him, uh, I challenge you to get up. Uh, you're going too much. Uh, you're going through too much uh, to sit beside the Statue of Liberty. Uh, find somebody uh, who will praise the Lord with you uh, and tell them, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Uh, And let us exalt his name together. Is there a hallelujah in the house? I say is there a hallelujah in the house. Check your row. Is there a hallelujah in your row? Is there anybody praising the Lord with you? Is there anybody lifting up God with you? Is there anybody saying thank you, Jesus, beside you? Is there anybody worshiping God with you? Sometimes you got so much you're coming to church with. You need some worshipers around you. Can I get a witness in the house? Isaiah's heart was broken when Uzziah died. But thank God he went into the temple. And the angels cried one to another. They cried, holy, 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 holy. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the more they praise him, the Bible said the doorpost moved at the voice of him that cried. You may be feeling like you're a weakling. 